Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Can I just say, before we do this, thank you so much to everybody that went over to my new channel and subscribed. It went from three subscribers to 400 and something in like overnight and I'm thrilled to bits. So thank you so much for all your support. Um, I was asked over and over again in my um, haul video and gifts video to do a flip through of this beautiful book by Diane DeFore. This is Teddy Bear Therapy and I got it from Amazon France <coughs> and um, I had pre-ordered it and it came pristine. It's the small format like fur balls that we've coloured in that I love and also like um, I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know what it was like. Um, I was trying to think. Yeah, this is the this is the Mermaids book that was recently released, um, and it was a lot bigger format. And this is the teddy bear one. Looks just like fur balls. So, should we get into it? There are. I cannot read French. There it says a um, hundred images. I think there. So we could be some time. So grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee. Coke, juice, whatever you like, and let's get having a look. So, here's the front, and even the teddy on the front is adorable. I mean, it is very Diane de Fors style, um, and I don't know what it is about her work, but I just love it. So, there are some seasonal pictures. Let me just open the spine out so we can get right in there. There we go. Now, have I got you all on screen? Yeah. So they are double-sided. It is that thick paper that you can do whatever you like with. Obviously, we can't use our alcohol markers in this because it's double-sided, but the images are worth it. It is so beautiful. I mean, just off the bat, this first one, I mean, look at that. Oh, it's just so cute. I love it. Um, so we will have to do a colour with me in here, and maybe I'll do a um, ASMR one. In on my other channel, yeah. I just I mean, look, so I'm gonna flip and keep going. There's just nothing not to like about him. He's just look at this little fella. Oh my gosh, and that very distinctive style that um, Diane has got is just gorgeous. Um, I must do a picture and tag her on um, Instagram. I haven't thought of that. I bet she has no idea how much I love her work. Um, yeah, so I, I must do that. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? As a thanks for all her beautiful artwork that she sends to us, that she sends out. Like I say, I purchased this from Amazon France because it's not available, or it wasn't available in the UK as of yet. If it is, I'll link it down below. But if not, I'll put a link to Amazon France on there where you can purchase it. And um, it's no different to buying like from Amazon Japan or anywhere else. It's, it's easy. I just get let Google Translate do it and um, away we go. And voila, in the post, a uh, beautiful Diane DeFore book. Look at that. <laughs> it's shell bikini. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. That's lovely too, isn't it? Look at that. Just, yeah. And here comes our little, um, are they otters maybe? They were in the other book, weren't they? The mermaid book. And you see a few repeats of her um, creatures in the books, which is nice because you get familiar with the characters. So we've got this lovely shepherd dog here, snuggled up with the teddy. Yeah, it's just, it's so innocent and magical. I think that's probably what I like about it, is just the pure innocence of her images. There's nothing nasty or thought-provoking, you know, they're just calming and gorgeous images. Do you think he's home from travel and he's exhausted? Or he hasn't even set off yet, what do you think? <laughs> Don't get carried away Lucy, keep it in frame. So that, I love this one as well. It's almost like bedtime stories, isn't it? With the candles around the outside. And then we've got birthday cake or wedding cake. Sorry, I've just moved my phone out of the way. It's going berserk for some reason. 
mm, hot chocolate, I would say. And this one, I love it. <laughs> His face. I'm trying to read. <laughs> oh yeah, rainy day, splashing in the puddles. We can afford to come in, dare I come in slightly, or is my, oh, yep, I knew it. There we go, I've untrapped you. This silly um, clamp on my camera. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, it traps the zoom on my camera the way it clamps, it clamps around the camera and the zoom's here, which is very annoying. But, <clears throat> oh look, look at this one. There's not a page, I mean if you look, each one is just, oh my goodness, even like these ones are still adorable. I'm not going to lie, it would probably drive me nuts trying to colour those in. However, can you imagine that when it was done? Could do like some sort of metallic background so he's popping out, or black so he pops out. What have we got here? Oh look, we've got a safari teddy bear. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, and you can see the, what is that? Am I being thick? Is that, I don't know. Is it underwater? What's going on there? It looks like it might be bubbles. But then where's the rest of the tree? I'm being really dim, because he's on a skateboard. I don't get it. I'm being dim, folks. Oh, it's graffiti on the wall. Oh, so stupid. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Takes me a while, folks, but I get there. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And we've got um, Holly around him. <laughs> His cheeks. <laughs> or oh, another bath time one. It's nice to do the bubbles. And uh, the um, room one with looks like, reminds me of sort of Joanna, it's not nothing like it, but I mean it reminds me of Joanna Basford's rooms with the books in, Rooms of Wonder, beautiful book. Oh, wow. And then we've got a lovely Christmas sledging scene here. Oh, I can't wait to be able to do some of these for Christmas. Our uh, winter season. We've got, to, we've got to do autumn and Halloween, yeah, I'm jumping the gun. Oh look, that'd be like me baking with the grandson. A whole hot mess, that's what that would be. <laughs> oh look, there's a big pile of them. They're all bundled up. Oh. It really is just the cutest little book. Thank you to everybody that said they wanted to flip through. I was more than happy to do it. Um, because there's nothing like sitting here and talking to you about the pages that I can that we see and then I get a feel for the book and sometimes pages jump out and you just have that instinctual I know what colours I want um, so it makes it much easier to and it sort of ingrains in my memory then rather than just being lost I've got a lift on an owl across the mountains and the pine trees there's a lot of this style about, isn't there? I'd be tempted on one of them to, to uh, acrylic paint it out and just do Teddy's face. Oh, look at that, he's on a unicorn. And this one's got a dragon. What a lovely couple of pages. Look at that, so cute. Oh, and space. Just, oh, I just love it. I just love her work. It still um, hasn't taken over Furballs for me. Not yet. Furballs is my favourite, still. Oh, that's cute. We saw that one when I did the haul. The teddy bear reading about mermaids, look, and she's listening. That, I love this page. Isn't that beautiful? Turquoises and pinks. Oh, yeah, very nice. 
<laughs> oh, another winter scene with the Aurora Borealis in the background. Very tropical one. Yeah, I could sit on a cherry tree and eat them like that. You wouldn't need a basket because there'd be nothing left. I love cherries. That's a cute one too, isn't it? Wouldn't be difficult to colour that at all. That would be very quick to do on camera. Another winter scene. He's building his teddy bear snowman. Or snow bear. This one's gorgeous. Look at this. Looks like Grandpa looking after the garden. And watering his plants. Isn't that lovely? He's all fluffy. And an Indian one with his TP. I can't think what the name is. Oh, for goodness sake. Totem pole. <laughs> I do frustrate myself, you know. I don't know about you guys. The other thing I noticed and I love about Diane DeFore, you never see a human face ever in her books. If you do, it's a tiny little bit of it. It's never a full human face. So if you struggle with skin, Diane DeFore, um, oh look, there's a close-up of that one. Yeah, look, you only ever get a snipsy bit of the face. That's nice, she's snuggling up with her teddy. Oh, oh look at these giraffes. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Brick practice, we could do some more bricks. While they do their yoga. Just, oh, it's made me laugh. Look at them. That's so funny. We've got our scientist and our magicians. I love the variety. I think that's what it is. There's no sort of set theme to it. Well, our theme is teddy bears, but no sort of set scenery theme. It's just random, and I really like that because it means it meets a lot of people, and and it. Um, kind of meets your, your mood as well, you know how your mood changes and one day you, you want to colour, I don't know, Joanna Batsford, the next day you want to do a Kirby, you know, this book kind of matches that mood so you can usually find something in there that you fancy colouring and they go from intricate to easier too. That's a lovely underwater scene, look at that one. Is that a double page? I think it might be, you know, a double page spread. Oh no, because the tree's missing from there. But they do, they... Is it a double page? I think you could make it certainly a double page spread, couldn't you? It's just that that little bit of tree is missing over that on that page. But yeah, you could certainly make that into a beautiful double page spread. Some of these pages would annoy me with the background, so like I say, I'll probably acrylic paint them out and just do Teddy. But some of them, like this one, is beautiful. Like the Christmas wreath around the outside of them. Oh, that's nice. Look, they're on their games console. <laughs> and a bit of hula dancing. <laughs> oh... I don't know why I get the feeling of a little girl. She's a little girl looking at the birdies. Um, we had this horse in, I think it's in Furballs actually, but he's on his own and it's just adorable. <laughs> oh, she's happy, she's been shopping. Girl after my own heart. Party time. Oh, look at this one. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's so lovely. He's sat there watching the fireworks. Oh. Oh, Lucy's fallen in love with it, Lord. And we've got a Halloween party. With ghosts and a teddy bear dressed as a bat. And a mummy. <laughs> isn't that cool? Oh, he's dressed as Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I can't wait to do one in here. And then, as all the um, 
I think it's all the art therapy books. I'm not sure because mine are ma mainly Diane DeFalls books. I didn't have any more before this. They have special pages at the back where the pages are repeated, but you've got notes on them. So you could send somebody a colour it and send somebody a letter on it. And if I'm not mistaken, then these then change. Let me centralise you again. These then change and you get bookmarks that you can colour. Well, they do in one of the... But yeah, look, you can cut these out tags. I never really understood that because this image, if you cut that out, for example, you're going to cut off Teddy's ears and everything. It's just odd. So I don't know. I don't get that one. But these tag ones I don't get. But it does give you a bit of scope for practising if you don't want to use the tags. And then we come into bookmarks, look. You can cut them down so that you can have bookmarks. And she's just, yeah, we've got, just got two pages of those. And there we are. Let me try and square it up again because I've um, broken the spine. There we are. Diane DeFore's brand new book, Teddy Bear Therapy. I hope you love it just as much as I do. I can't wait to colour in it. So I promised I would get this out to you. And then next we're going to look at those Star Joy pencils and see what they're like. And then we'll do a colouring with them. So I'm very excited. We've got lots and lots to get out on this channel and on my new channel. I'll link it down below if you're not aware of the new channel. Um, and like I said, thank you to everyone for all your support. It means the world to me. It really does. I was so overwhelmed with people jumping straight from Lucy Just Adds Colour to um, ASMR colouring with Lucy. It was just incredible. So thank you so much. So until we meet again in the very near future, my very dear friends, take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.